Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Senators propose highly restrictive drone bill. A waterproof multi-copter, what will they think of next? And with even more legislation, Uncle Sam wants the right to kill your drone. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. We hate to get political again, but there's been a lot of news about drones, including our recreational models, and how various elected officials want to deal with them that is hitting the news lately, and we want to make sure that you're fully up to date, so here goes. A curious, if not confusing, new bill authorized by a bipartisan mix of senators pretty much wants to do away with federal preemption and give state and local governments the power to regulate drone flying under 200 feet AGL. The chaos potential, of course, is huge. Senators Tom Cotton, Dianne Feinstein, Mike Lee, and Richard Blumenthal have introduced the Drone Federalism Act. The senators insist that in the time frame between September 2015 to September 2016, nearly 1,500 drone incidents were reported. Mind you, such reports have previously been picked apart elsewhere and by a number of authorities. The act claims to recognize the FAA's general authority over the NAS, while empowering state, local, and tribal governments to issue restrictions on the time, manner, and place of drone operations within 200 feet of the ground or a structure. These could include reasonably low altitude speed limits, local no-fly zones, temporary restrictions, and prohibitions on reckless or drunk operators. The bill asserts that the federal government will respect private property rights to the airspace immediately above a property up to the first 200 feet. The bill also directs the FAA to partner with cities and states to test out different approaches, inform the Unmanned Traffic Management Pilot Program, and report best practices. Manned aviation is exempted from this bill's scope. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Internet filmmaker Casey Neistat has run afoul of the FAA for using a drone to capture some of his footage. While no stranger to controversy, Neistat admitted in a recent vlog that, quote, I'm under investigation by the FAA and I can't fly in New York City anymore because I don't want to get in trouble and it's irresponsible and you shouldn't do it either. Laguna Beach, California has passed a drone ordinance. Among other things, the new ordinance prohibits the operation of drones in several city parks or over city beaches and over most public buildings. It also exempts city-owned and public safety aircraft. Real estate agents, media, and photographers would need to obtain a city permit. The ordinance may cover RC airplanes as it defines a model aircraft as, quote, any unmanned aircraft or unmanned aircraft system operated by any person strictly for hobby or recreational purposes. We've had a chance to try out Sporty's Pilot Shop's new Study Buddy Remote Pilot Test Prep course and came away impressed. Highly customizable, the app may be accessed online by PC, tablet of other mobile devices, and costs less than $20. Well organized, the prep course is about the easiest way we know to get ready for the FAA's knowledge tests and offers the kind of feature set that should make the process short work. Check it out at sporties.com. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. The makers of the Splash Drone have introduced the Splash Drone 3 on Kickstarter with two different versions of the floating drone. The auto variant of the aircraft features a 4K waterproof camera that can take a video underwater, albeit only a few inches deep, the Fisherman Edition will carry a payload of up to 2.5 pounds, allowing anglers to drop bait further than you could ever imagine. The 4K camera gimbal has a built-in audio and video recorder, as well as high-torque brushless motors for smooth video. The camera captures 4K video as well as 14 megapixel still photos via a 5G glass lens with 106-degree field of view. They have also beefed up the new version of the drone. 
The new S3 flight controller has been optimized as its hardware and firmware constantly check for system errors and offer backups to maintain flight safety and stability. The dual mode GPS also references GLONASS for additional accuracy. Improved GPS shielding ensures accuracy in all environments. Deliveries are expected to begin next month. And finally, there's even more potential drone legislation to worry about. A draft bill making the rounds in Congress would give the federal government the ability to track, take control of, and if necessary, destroy any drone it deems a security threat. The language is part of the National Defense Authorization Act. The draft legislation specifies, detect, identify, monitor, or track without prior consent an unmanned aircraft system or payload or cargo to evaluate whether it poses a threat to the safety or security of a covered facility location, including by means of interception of or other access to wire, oral, electronic, or radio communications or signals. Redirect, disable, disrupt, control of, exercise control of, seize or confiscate without prior consent an unmanned aircraft system. Use reasonable force to disable, disrupt, damage or destroy an unmanned aircraft system. Conduct research, testing, training on and evaluation of any equipment, including any electronic equipment, to determine its capability and utility. Details of the National Defense Authorization Act have not been made public, though the drone language was leaked to the New York Times. According to the document, the legislation is a response to threats posed by UAVs to public safety or homeland security. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.